Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a collab with Summer Michelle. We decided to do a video of our top five vendors and our favorite scents from each of those vendors. And we decided to make it a tag video. So I will be tagging three people at the end of the video and hope that they will participate. Um, so let's just get started. Um, I apologize for my appearance today. I just got done doing a workout and so I needed to film this. So we're just going with it today. So my first vendor and my top favorite vendor actually is Sassy Girl Aroma. So Sassy Girl was the first vendor that I purchased from. I made my first purchase in December of 2021 and Sassy Girl was my first vendor and I just instantly fell in love with her wax. Um, I love her brittles, her bag of blocks that she has. Uh, her wax is just like a work of art and her wax performs so well for me in my home and she just hands down has the best beach nights ever. And beach nights is one of my all time favorite scents. So yes, her wax just performs so, so well for me. Her wax will throw for days in my home. So I just love Sassy Girl. She is just my top vendor. And my first favorite scent from her is her Night on the Beach, which is a warm blend of toasted marshmallow, sea salt, breeze, and s'mores. And this is just amazing. Amazing. You get everything. It's just the toasted marshmallow, the sea salt breeze, her beach nights is just phenomenal. I love her beach nights. So that is Night on the Beach. My second favorite, well, the, it's not really in order. These are just like my top scents from her. And that is Blueberry Pumpkin Cornbread, which is Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, Blueberry Cornbread, Vanilla Bean Noel. And I love Blueberry Bakery. And this is just blueberry bakery heaven. You get the blueberry first and foremost, and then you get the pumpkin pecan waffles and the cornbread and the vanilla bean Noel just smooths it all out. It is just an amazing blueberry bakery scent. So if you like blueberry, I highly suggest this. It's blueberry pumpkin cornbread. Next is my favorite lavender scent from any vendor, and that is called Sweet Nights. And that is her Beach Nights mixed with sweet lavender. I cannot like, it just really is like the sweetest, most relaxing lavender scent. Perfect for the bedroom. Even just smelling it on cold, it's like instant relaxation. I love it. If you're a fan of lavender and you haven't tried this from her, I highly suggest it. So that is Sweet Nights. Next is probably might be my favorite Beach Nights blend from her. And that is Orca Island which is Beach Nights mixed with blackberry and birthday cake. Mm. You actually get the blackberry first and foremost in this. Then you get the Beach Nights and that birthday cake. It's just, it's so good. She has an amazing blackberry too. Mm. So, so good. So that again is Orca Island. My next favorite is called She's a Little Mermaid. And this is another reason why I just say that her wax is like a work of art. Cause just like, look at the brittle, like it is just beautiful. And this is Mac Apple Cotton Candy, Crisp Ozone, Salty Sea Spray, Seaweed, Sun Weathered Driftwood and Whipped Cream. Mm. Let me just take this out to show you guys. It's like sticking to the bag because it's hot here. But look at that. It is just gorgeous. 
her brittles are just amazing. And you just, you get the Mac apple first and foremost. Then you do get the crisp ozone, the sea salt spray. I do get a hint of the driftwood. I don't get too much whipped cream that probably just blends it all together. But this is just a beautiful, like aquatic, like Mac apple scent. And that is She's a Little Mermaid. Next is another favorite Beach Nights blend, which is Oath. And Oath is Beach Nights mixed with smoked vanilla, pine cones, and sugar cookie. I bought this on recommendation from Alexis because she raved about it. And I completely understand why. This is just a beautiful pine cones and beach nights. You do get the pine cones first. And then that beach nights is just, it's so good. So good. I love this. I can melt this any time of year, but it definitely is a really good fall scent with that roasted pine cones. So once again, that is Oath. And my last favorite from her is Marie which is Beach Nights and Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds. So Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds is another favorite scent note of mine. And this is beautiful. She has a really good Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds. Mm. You got the Beach Nights first. It's like, it's actually like 50-50. I get half Beach Nights, half Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds. So good. Oh. And just look at that beautiful brittle. I'm not gonna take them all out because it's already like sticking to the bag and the bag is getting messy, but it is just beautiful. Like, So that is my top favorite vendor and my favorite scents from that vendor. So let's move on to my next. So after Sassy Girl, like Sassy Girl is my top favorite vendor, but then after that, this, it doesn't go in order. They're just my next, you know, my other favorite vendors. So next up is Dessa's. So this is Dessa's Homespun Scents. And what I love about Dessa's is that she has a really great variety of wax. Like she has these breakaway bars. She has her little tiles. So you, uh, and she has like the build a loaf, which is a mini loaf and then the big loaves and you can custom make those loaves, whatever scent she's offering at the time. And her prices are really reasonable. Like the, the breakaway bars are like $4 and 50 cents. The tiles are like $2 and 50 cents. So it's like a really good price point, especially for the tiles. If you want to try a scent that you're not sure if you're really going to like, you can try it out in a tile. And then if you like it, then if she once she offers it again, you can get it in a bigger amount. So my first favorite scent from her is called Salem. And that is leaves, which is the Bath and Body Works type, Macintosh apple, dewy outdoor leaves, and vanilla voodoo. Mm. You get the leaves in the Mac apple, and it is just such a beautiful fall apple blend. You do get a hint of the dewy outdoor leaves. It's just... It has like a crispness to it. Oh, so, so good. So that is Salem. My next favorite from her is actually a blend that Summer created, which is called Royal Strawberry Palo Cookies, which is sugar cookies, Palo Santo, strawberry pound cake. And this is just like Palo Bakery Heaven. She has a really good Palo Santo. This is so good. You get the Palo Santo first, then you get the strawberry pound cake and the sugar cookies. So good. And this scent is a powerhouse. This will like blow you out of the room. I put, I have two warmers in my bedroom and I put one cube in each warmer and it just like blew me away. I definitely could have got away with just putting one. So that again is the Royal Strawberry Palo Cookies. My next up here, I only have three left, so I need to purchase more of this when she offers it again, is called Shipwreck Island. And that is Beach Nights, Bonfire Bliss, Vanilla Voodoo, and Salty Sea Air. 
Mm. I actually get salty sea air first and she has a really good salty sea air. And then you get the beach nights and a touch of that bonfire bliss, like a hint, a hint of smokiness. But it's really the salty sea air and the beach nights. So good. Once again, her salty sea air is really good. Is that a shipwreck island? I know she has a pre-order coming up September 2nd, I believe. I am trying to be good and I'm going to try to skip out on this because <laughs> I just have accumulated so much from Dessa's in a short amount of time. I've, I think I participated in her last like three pre-orders. So I'm going to try to sit this one out. <laughs> My next favorite is sugared zucchini streusel, which is zucchini bread, sugar cookie, cinnamon streusel crumble. This is good. You get the cinnamon streusel crumble first, and it almost leans a little bit red hot cinnamon, like almost, but not quite. Like full blown red hot cinnamon. And then you get the sugar cookie and the zucchini bread. Mm, so good. This is going to be another beautiful fall scent, but I also think that I would melt this like year round too. So that's sugared zucchini streusel. And then my last and also my top favorite from Dessa's is apple crumble. This is baked apples, cinnamon sugar, nutmeg, buttery crumble, and whipped cream. And this is just such a beautiful apple bakery scent. Like it just smells like you're baking an apple crumble. It is so good. You get the baked apples and then the, the cinnamon sugar, the nutmeg, the buttery crumble, like you just get it all and it all blends together so beautifully. This is my top favorite scent from her. Every time she offers it in a pre-order, I just, I, I pick up a breakaway bar in it because I just love it that much. So that again is apple crumble. And that is it for my top scents from Dessa's. Uh, next up, we have Lavender and Speckles. So Lavender and Speckles has become a new favorite of mine. I love Beth. She is such a sweetheart. I love how she keeps everybody posted on uh, YouTube as well as her Facebook. I don't have Facebook, but I've heard that she's very active on her Facebook and uh, I love how she keeps everybody updated on YouTube as well. She's done a couple of videos about when, you know, when she's pouring, that she's almost done pouring, uh, that she's shipped out her first half of her pre-order. I actually just got my pre-order in yesterday and I tried to wait to film it to do it on camera, but I couldn't wait. I had to dig into it and I just, spoiler, I love everything. So her prices are also really reasonable too. She offers these little uh, shape bags for $4.50. And then I know she has bigger shape bags for like $11.50. And I love that her wax is just like a plain white color. And she has like little bunt shapes. And depending on how strong the scent is on cold, I can get away with doing like one and a half of the little bunts in my warmers. So my first favorite from her is called Lazy Hazy Days of Summer, which is from her Gilmore Girls collection. This is birthday cake blended with sweet lavender, red delicious apple, and cotton candy frosting. Mm. And that is just a beautiful Mac apple. You do get the lavender and then the birthday cake and a hint of that cotton candy frosting so so good so good i know she's also supposed to have a pre-order not this weekend but next weekend i believe the 25th through the 27th and she's supposed to, it's supposed to be a fall pre-order and she's supposed to have the gilmore girls in it too so i am definitely going to be participating in that and i'm going to stock up on some more of these gilmore girl scents so that is lazy hazy days of summer next is another gilmore girls blend and this is emily's apple tarts and this is apple pie blended with juicy fresh apples, cinnamon buns, and pie crust. Mm. That is a beautiful apple pie. Blended with the cinnamon buns. It is a touch spicy cinnamon buns, but not bad. And then the pie crust just blends everything together. So good. 
Oh, and her wax performs so well for me. Like I said, depending on how strong the scent is, I can get away with actually cutting her pieces in half and putting them in my warmers. So that is Emily's apple tarts. Next up is Summer Boardwalk. I'm not sure if this is supposed to be a dupe for the Bath & Body Works, but it does smell pretty dang close to me. So this is sweet candied apples, caramel corn, touches of taffy, and hints of ozone air. This smells really close to the Bath & Body Works, which is what I did the other night. I melted this and burned the Bath & Body Works candle at the same time. And it was just like candy apple heaven. It was beautiful. This is one of the scents that I actually cut one of the, the bunts in half and did a bunt and a half in my bedroom. And it was just so good. Oh, and then with the candle, it was just beautiful. So that is Summer Boardwalk. I will definitely be picking that up again because I am almost out. Next up is Beach Night Cookies. And this is Beach Night's Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds and Sugar Cookie Royale. She has a really good Beach Nights too. Her Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds is really good. And the sugar cookie. The, all, you just get all three notes. And they're just like so like equally done. It's just beautiful, beautiful Beach Nights blend. And I also love how she has scripture on the bottom of each one. So that is Beach Night Cookies. My next favorite was a recommendation from uh, Summer, which is Donut Shop in Palo Santo. So I uh, saw Summer raving about this a couple of months ago. And as soon as I saw Beth offer this, I instantly just grabbed two bags. <laughs> and I'm so glad that I did because it is a beautiful scent. It is cinnamon sugar donuts blended with Palo Santo. And yes, it is bakery heaven beautiful beautiful like her palo santo is like top tier mm. mixed with the cinnamon sugar donuts and it's not a red hot cinnamon it's just a nice like sweet cinnamon and then that palo santo so good if you have not tried this yet i highly highly recommend it i believe she's supposed to have this in her pre-order coming up so that is donut shop in palo santo and last here is Speckles Birthday Cake. So this has the wrong scent notes on it. It says that it's birthday cake, vanilla bean, Noel, and peppermint. There is definitely no peppermint in this. But it definitely has Palo Santo and birthday cake because that's what I get. I get a beautiful Palo Santo. I get a nice, like, creamy, like, birthday cake. Mm. Once again, her Palo is just so good. I think she might also have this available in her pre-order coming up too. I might have to grab another bag of this. So that is Speckles Birthday Cake. And that is it for my top scents from uh, Lavender and Speckles. So next we are going to move on to Teddy Bees. I'm sorry, I'm trying to keep this as short <laughs> as possible. I don't want to ramble too much here and make it an hour long video. So Tiffany is the owner of Teddy Bees and her scents are just so unique and she just blends them all so amazingly. Like there are scent notes that I never thought that I would like and then I try them from Tiffany and she's just like a master blender. Like everything just comes together so well. And her wax performs fairly well for me. Some of them are light medium. Some of them are like a strong medium and I'm just happy to at least have a strong medium. If I can get a strong medium in my bedroom, I'm good with that. So my first favorite scent here, and this is actually my favorite scent from uh, Teddy Bees, is Witches Be Crazy. And this is birthday cake, pecan waffles, sugar cookie dough, a pinch, a pinch of cinnamon spice vanilla. And this is just such a beautiful creamy bakery. You get the pecan waffles first, and then you get that birthday cake, and the sugar cookie dough just smooths it all out and blends it all together. 
it is just beautiful. I know she makes a lot of blends with the Witches Be Crazy. And they're all just so good. But the original Witches Be Crazy is just a beautiful creamy bakery and it is my favorite scent from Teddy Bees. So that is Witches Be Crazy. Next, I have Surfside Sweet Shop, which is birthday cake, marshmallow cream, butter cookies, cake batter, and beach treats, which is her beach nights. I also love her labels and how she puts the pour dates on her labels. Mm. And her souffles are just beautiful. Like that blue is just beautiful. And then the drizzle on it. And right off the bat, I get like the birthday cake and the cake batter with the beach nights. I don't get too much marshmallow cream or butter cookies. I really just get like the cake batter, the beach nights, and then actually like a, a hint of birthday cake. And this is just so good. This is actually my second souffle. I already have one chopped up and I've already been melting. So good. I know this is a very popular scent from Teddy Bees. So that is Surfside Sweet Shop. Next up is Cozy Cookie Cake, which I bought this on a recommendation from Charity because she raved about it. And this is warm iced white cake, beach treats, marshmallow fireside, and signature sugar cookie. Mm. To me, I actually get the marshmallow fireside first. And can we just talk about how beautiful that wax is? The glitter, just so nice. So I get the marshmallow fireside first, and then I get the warm iced cake, warmed iced white cake, and then the beach treats. It's just so good. And I just love marshmallow fireside. That is my favorite candle from Bath and Body Works. So. This is going to be beautiful to melt in the fall, which I will be melting fall, like starting like September 1st. I've already melted a few fall scents here and there, but September 1st, I'm full blown fall mode. <laughs> so that is cozy cookie cake. Next is a new love of mine from Teddy Bee's and that is Honey Bee, which is sweet sugar cookies, honey nectar, sweet vanilla, and beach treats. I was afraid about this one at first because of the honey nectar i'm not a huge fan of honey but everybody was raving about it on youtube so i had passed on it in the last not this past pre-order but the pre-order before that and then i ordered it in the rts and then i ordered it again in this like last pre-order i think it was or the did i buy it in the rts i can't remember but i definitely got a second souffle coming because it is just that good it is a beautiful bedroom scent for me you do get that honey nectar, but it's not like sickeningly sweet. It's like a beautiful, like kind of floral lean in honey, but I love it. And the sweet sugar cookies and the touch of the beach treats is just beautiful. So that is Honeybee. And my last favorite is I Heart Vanilla Beach Treats. This is creamy vanilla marshmallow, vanilla milkshake, boardwalk marshmallow, and beach treats. Her beach treats is so good. Her beach nights. Mixed with the boardwalk marshmallow clouds, and you do get that vanilla milkshake. She does a lot of I Heart vanilla blends. I know there's I Heart vanilla spiced apples that everybody raves about, and that scent is good. It's just not a, like a huge favorite of mine. But it is good. Oh, but this is just like beach nights with a delicious like vanilla milkshake and the marshmallow is beautiful. So that is I Heart Vanilla Beach Treats. So that is all of my favorites from Teddy Bees. And we are gonna move on to the, my last favorite vendor. So last but not least here we have L3. And I love L3 because she just has such a great variety 
of like wax and her prices are just like phenomenal they're like the most reasonable prices she has like the puppy packs she has bougie bars she has trig tarts she has two pack buns she has big loaves she has mini loaves she has like these sugar skulls she just has everything and then she is jenny is really good about taking requests and she'll eat like if you request a scent she'll eat she'll try to pour it into the next upcoming release or if she can't then she'll pour it in the up the next release which is she usually has one like every like two to three weeks and then she i know she also has a customs list and i know it's on facebook and i wanted to do some customs so i actually emailed her a couple months ago and asked her if it was possible to get onto her customs list even though i didn't have facebook and asked if it would be fine to just email me when it was my turn and jennifer was so nice and just replied back she's like i can make you customs now if you have like a list ready to go and I said, yes, I do. So I sent her my list and she approved it within a couple of hours, sent me my invoice. I paid it and she just instantly started working on it. And I think I got it within like the month. And she has like the doggy bags that she calls them for like her customs. So my first custom that I did, which happens to, you know, all the customs that I have here are my favorite scents from her. So that's why I requested them for the customs. This first one here is Adipose Beach Nights Strawberry Pound Cake. So the adipose is the jet puff mallow and mallow fluff and then the beach nights is the toasted mallow and the uh sea salt breeze and the s'mores and i love jennifer's strawberry pound cake it is so good mixed with that beach nights you get the salty sea air from the beach nights and then the adipose which is the jet puff mallow just like kind of smooths it all together it is so good. Oh, and then like her doggy bags just have like little shapes in them. You get the rose and then you got like bunny. It's so cute. Mm. If you haven't tried her strawberry pound cake, I highly recommend. So that is Adipose Beach Nights Strawberry Pound Cake. Next is Lemon Pound Cake White Elephant Exchange. So she has my absolute favorite lemon pound cake, like, this is uh, the White Elephant Exchange's Powdered Donuts, Vanilla Wafers, White Cake, and Vanilla Frosting mixed with the Lemon Pound Cake. And, oh, I never used to be a lemon person until I tried her Lemon Pound Cake and I just fell in love. So good. If you have not tried her Lemon Pound Cake, you are missing out. Mm beautiful i have multiple backups of this scent it is so good lemon pound cake white elephant exchange next is emerald city which is baked granny smith apple pie topped with brown sugar on a pretzel crust mm. yep you get that baked Granny Smith apple, which is delicious. With the, You do get the brown sugar and a hint of the pretzel. It is just a beautiful apple bakery scent. If you love apple, I highly suggest. It's not Mac apple, obviously it's Granny Smith apple. So it's a little bit sweeter, but it's amazing. I have backups of this one too. So that is Emerald City. And next is, today is October 3rd, which is Palo Santo Sugar Cookie Royale Toasted Malo. And I bought this on, you know, all the hype that it got on YouTube. I slept on this scent for like almost a year before I finally decided to try it. Because this was my first scent that I've tried with Palo Santo. And I was always afraid that I wasn't going to like Palo Santo. And I tried this and I just became hooked. I think she might have my favorite Palo Santo. She definitely has my favorite sugar cookie Royale. Mm. You just get that Palo Santo. The sugar cookie Royale is so strong. And the toasted Malo, this scent is just like, will blow you out of the house too. So that is, today is October 3rd. And my last favorite scent from L3 is Pennywise. 
And this is sweet funnel cakes dusted with powdered sugar and topped with strawberry and raspberry syrup. Yes, you get the sweet raspberry and strawberry syrup first and then the funnel cakes. And it's just, I can't describe it. Her raspberry is just so good. It's not perfumey leaning lab, uh, raspberry like some other vendors. It is just so good. You get the strawberry too. I don't really get the powdered sugar, but I do get the sweet funnel cakes and the strawberry raspberry syrup. This is so good. So that again is Pennywise. And that is it for my top vendors and favorite scents. I hope you all enjoyed seeing what I love from my from the my favorite different vendors. And I am going ahead and I'm going to tag three people for this. And my first tag, I am going to do Brittany Joyce. Uh, I am also going to be tagging Alexis and Natalie from Jersey Shore Living. So I hope that you all will participate. Um, and I hope you enjoyed seeing everything from my video and yeah, I just, we just hope that everybody participates. You don't have to be tagged to participate in it. If you see a video and you just want to participate and share with everybody your top favorite vendors and your favorite scents from those vendors, go for it. It doesn't even have to be a top five. It could be a top three. It could be a top four. It could be whatever you're comfortable with and just go for it so you don't have to be tagged to participate we just wanted to you know just start a tag and just hope that everybody will participate themselves so once again i am tagging Brittany joyce alexis and natalie from jersey shore living so if you guys are watching i hope you do participate and i look forward to seeing who your favorite vendors are and your favorite scents from them so i hope you all enjoyed seeing this and i hope you all have a great day Thanks for stopping by and I hope that if you like this video, you will like, comment, and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!